Hey, what's up my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Listen, I can really do this. I did address a few of the commenters. Y'all, Jean Mai is officially contesting her divorce. It's also pretty much confirmed that she's not going to get any alimony. It's also pretty much concerned that she, and I'm going to give you receipts as to why, right? I got legal proof since that's what y'all like. It's also pretty much confirmed that she is contesting ending the marriage because it is not by her choice and she wants to fight and save the marriage. But let's get into what the naysayers are actually getting into because I think it's important to address it. And I, I will live later on if I get through with my filming schedule before, right? Live later on if I can to chop it up with y'all. Let me know if you want me to go live, but let's talk about this first one. God loves you all the time. Said, y'all do know contesting a divorce doesn't mean she's trying to save her marriage. Here's what it means. And I said, you trying to school me on legal stuff? Okay, God loves you all the time. This better be good, right? It wasn't. She said, the other spouse does not agree to all the terms of the, the, the other spouse does not agree to all the terms of the divorce, including concerns like child custody, child support, and property division. Folks need to stop spreading false information respectfully. And I said, you know, this is one thing I can't stand. It's somebody trying to be like, you're in my channel. This is opinion. You're trying to be morally smug, misciting wrong law because you don't know Georgia law. I'll get into that. Don't worry, I'll bring the receipts. How you end up with respectfully? All right, fine. But it's also who else uh, popped up on my thing? Um, we at? Hold on, there was one other person that popped up. Let me find so I can put you on the summer jam stream. So if anything ever happens to me, also wanted me to know, you clearly don't understand divorce and what contested divorce means. And I said, are you sitting next to God loves me all the time? Uncontested is a no fault divorce. Contested is when you assign fault to someone causing the dissolution of the marriage and you are challenging some of the claims in the petition of divorce. It becomes uncontested by default if you've come to a settlement or have mediation. Fault is only determined by a judge if you go to litig litigation. It does not mean she's fighting for marriage like it all. To which I said, all right, you know what? Class is in session, y'all. Sit down because y'all, listen, I know I give my opinion all the time. This is an opinion channel. But when I tell you something about the law, can y'all at least like research it before you come for me? Let's actually hit it off. Let me start with birth. Anything happens to me. Yes, Georgia is a, uh, Georgia is uh, contesting means faulting, right? Let's break down all this stuff. First, let's talk about Georgia. Shall we? Right? Let's talk about Georgia. Georgia is a no fault based thing. I get that these two people that thought they were schooling me, you're bringing in New York law, LA law. I don't know where you live, the backwoods of Alabama. I really don't know, right? Respectfully. But Georgia is a no fault based state. Fault such as adultery can be used as a factor in determining alimony. Okay, just hold that in your head. Other fault issues can also figure into custody determinations, okay? So when it comes to custody determination, we'll talk about that too. Let's hit the first thing off about determining alimony. Here's what I do know, okay? Follow me on this road. That can't even be applied because Jenny Mai isn't getting alimony. Do you know why? Because in the state of, first of all, there's a prenup in place. Now, I was one of the people originally, before I actually researched Georgia law, divorce law, that was like, oh my God, there's a prenup in place. So you know what? She can like fight like that prenup. And then, you know, she can go get alimony if she can get it. Cause she can say she signed it under duress. Not saying she'd be successful, but she did have a claim. But here's the problem. Even if Jenny fights the prenup, and even if she's successful, in getting the prenup thrown out, she will still, there is a 99% chance that she will not get alimony in the state of Georgia. Why? Well, let me quote a little bit more Georgia law. Let's start with the first thing. Alimony, as it's called in Georgia, is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. It's not like California where they put it across. Just hear me out, I'm going somewhere. Typically factors used to determine if alimony will be awarded and how much alimony will be awarded include a significant 
income disparity between the parties. There's no significant income disparity. This isn't it. I'm going for the big reveal. But the things that you do look at when they decide will we give alimony is, is there a significant income disparity between the parties? Not investments, not assets, but how much income they bring in every year. Jeannie brings in a really good amount of money. And whether one of the parties has been out of the workforce for a significant period of time. Jeannie has been out of the workforce for no periods of time. She's literally guest hosting Access Hollywood. But here's the kicker. And there's how we know that's almost pretty much sure that Jenny's not gonna get alimony. Hold on. What if she will even be eligible for alimony for them to even do that judgment? The answer will vary between cases. However, a marriage of fewer than three years is rarely awarded alimony in Georgia. Even if you do get awarded alimony, if you have been, let's just say it's like, okay, so you've been married three years, you're rarely, if ever, awarded alimony, okay? But let's just say the judge does say, okay, we'll give you alimony. For marriages less than a decade, that could potentially be awarded alimony. But the amount and period of alimony will typically be a third of the length of the marriage. So let's get this straight, right? There's a prenup in place. Jeannie can challenge the prenup under duress, but even if the prenup is invalidated and it opens up the gates for her to get alimony, okay? Right? It opens up the gates to get alimony. If you've been married for less than three years and Jeannie Mai has been married for what, two? It is virtually unheard of for you to get any alimony. So you got to get to the prenup. Now you got that three years. However, let's just say the judge is like, you know what? I'm going to give you something. If you've been married less than 10 years, the court looks at, right? Whether there's disparity in income, there's not that big of disparity. Whether somebody's been out of the workforce. So are you a single mom that don't have any income and you make zero and he makes, Right? Jenny Ma makes her own money and she's never been out of the workforce. So those two things you can't even get. So why are we awarding you alimony? But let's just say you get a judge that's just like, you know what? I don't care. I love the real. I'm awarding her alimony. Then what happens? They look at, they take a third of the time that you were together and they award it based off of how much money do you have on your own? So they were together for what? 24 months, married, eight months, and out of that eight months, she has to prove that she was either out of the workforce or there's an income disparity. Okay? The chances that she is going to be awarded alimony is second to none. Jenny Ma has good attorneys. She knows this. And she's contesting this. She is not going to pay attorney's fees to contest her multi-million dollar husband that wants out of the marriage and will fight her tooth and, tooth and nail just for you to maybe get eight months of income and that eight months is going to be declined because you have your own income you have your own assets you have everything Jeannie Mai is not stupid so when she contested that marriage when she contested that marriage she was contesting her husband leaving her dummies not not y'all but the dummies that left those comments you were respectfully right i'm like all joking no lie right i just had to throw that i don't think y'all dummies but i had to throw that in there because mm -mm, right just feeling myself but she was content because it would make no sense for any lawyer to contest a prenup and fight. Now, let's get into God loves me all the time in her statement. About me not understanding what contested means. See, here's the thing. In the state of Georgia, a contested divorce in Georgia is where two things can happen. Parties cannot reach an agreement on whether to get a divorce or two they cannot settle on the terms and details of the dissolution. The details usually center around distribution and allocation of assets. We already talked about alimony, how any, unless she got Olga, Tasha Kay's lawyer representing her, it's not worth fighting for at the most she can possibly get is eight months in the state of Georgia. And that's if it's a Hail Mary. And the judge literally was the executive producer of The Real and loved Jeannie Ma down. So it's the allocation of assets, finances, that's out with the alimony right? Child support or custody. But here's the problem, right? God loves me all the time. You want to get into this, right? 
the other spouse does not agree to terms of divorce. Have, it says in the do divorce documents, and let me just pull those up for y'all real quick. Yeezy said in the court documents that the obligations to contribute to support, maintenance, education, and child support should be determined in accordance with Georgia law. Meaning he is asking the courts to decide what they deem fair in terms of child support, child custody, maintenance, education of the child. So what the F? It's just, since you want to sit there and be like, oh my God, Jenny's just contesting an allocation. But what is she contesting? Because the court has not said A, B, or C. So how can you contest something that was never set. What are you contesting with the court? I'm contesting the court's ability to make a fair judgment. Does that sound right to you? Does that sound like any court? Does that sound like that's what Jenny's going to? Or could it be that Jenny is fighting for her marriage and fighting for her man? Here's the thing, y'all. Y'all gotta agree with me respectfully. And you have to do this respectfully. But what you are, or maybe what you could respectfully consider doing it, is actually Googling. Uh, if you don't know any divorce lawyers in Georgia, right? And you don't want to go, just actually Googling before you come into my comments wanting to play morally superior and like whatever. You can say about people just be speaking on what they don't know, but isn't it odd that the loudest people saying that are actually speaking on things that they don't know. And the sad part is, it's not speculation. It's actually law and fact. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments respectfully, all right? Let me know if y'all want me to go live too, because there's so much information coming out. I'll be making a million videos. So y'all want me to go live and talk about that? Will y'all be there? Put one in the comments if you want live. Two, if you just want me to keep pumping out the videos. And three, I don't know, y'all know. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.